I'm Darcy, and this is Blaster Breakdown, or today, it's Shield Shakedown. Today, we'll show you how we put together Bodyguard. But first, here's some footage of Bodyguard in action. Perfect. Roll a clip! I want to yeah, kill the copycat! Yeah. Death to the copycat! Yeah, death to copycats. I'll cover long range, you got the short hit. How we built this beauty. Okay, so first of all, we've got this six millimeter steel mesh. We've got two panels, 600 by 900, and we're going to join those together. We may not need the full uh, amount of space, but uh, we'll see how it goes when the frame is assembled. So we're just going to lay these down. The, so the, the frame... first thing we're going to be doing is um, we're organizing the corners. My, um, Andrew, he's going to pass me two, 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 two of these, and, and he's going to use two of those, and we're going to mark out all four corners. And this is using 15 millimeter PVC hose. To um, uh, hold everything together. Now, so... next uh, step will be to use the, these T crossings to um, uh, get the uh, right or um, placements. Uh, since we haven't um, nailed this down yet, then we have them, um, since we haven't nailed, nailed, nailed it down yet, then we can't um, uh, um, uh, have these like, in, in fixed positions. But um, uh, we can try and make them in fixed. Well, we can get them in the general area. So the lower half will have a cross bracing in the middle vertically. One pipe across here in the middle. And the upper half will, will, will have the handles here. This will and um, uh, just the normal bracing. And finally, each side is going to be have wings yes. tipping back at um, 45 we're gonna degrees. Have the, well, we're going to have um, 15 centimeter wings so we can, um, uh, so, so I can have some sidle protection. So each of the cross pieces will have a 45 degree angle. And finally, these we, T's will hold the handles. So pipe will come out. Okay. Like so. Oops. So it'll be a 45 at each place. So lower half with the bracing in the middle, top half bracing across, and two handles here. So we'll attach the metal panel to the frame just using cable ties. So I'll just go through and hold it at each place. The frame, we've got PVC cement to hold the bits in place once we're happy with the spacing. And then just some black cloth tape will go all around the outside and across every joint so we don't have any risk of any sharp edges sticking out anywhere. Yeah. So the next thing is to take our regular pipe, measure how much we need for each of the bits, cut it to length, and then assemble the frame without glue first and see how it looks for spacing. So we'll check in again then. Okay, so we've completed the frame. All these parts are just pressed into place and we've checked it for size. Are you happy with the design? Uh, yeah, I'm very happy. This will be able to cover me and others. So you can see here where the 45 degree angles have given us a, a wing on either side and these are the handles, handle parts. So um, yeah, we're happy with this sizing. We'll get the PVC cement out and uh, glue it together before attaching uh, the metal front. So let's skip forward to that bit now. Okay, so now we've finished gluing the frame together. You can see the curved edge pieces and you can see the handle that Darcy's holding. And that's all glued together. You can see the blue PVC glue at every joint. The next job is gonna to be to attach the metal frame in place. That's all we use the cable ties for and then cover it all in tape. I'll check in again in a little bit. Okay, so we finished attaching the metal front using zip ties, just all the way around. And now we'll cover that up with cloth tape so that we don't have any of these uh, sharp edges and corners sticking out. 
Okay, we've finished assembling bodyguard now, as you can see. We've got tape across the top. I've got a mount for a action camera there. Uh, tape reinforcing, especially around the corners so there's no sharp edges. Show us the other side, Darcy. On this side, we have a, we have, we have the usual two arrow pouches as well as white, white, white grips instead of black. So t just tennis racket grip around yes. each of those for extra comfort. Let's go and do a firing demo. Yes. See how it holds up under fire. All right. Okay, we're gonna test out bodyguard the shield now. So I'm about, well, it's probably only about 40, 40 feet from Darcy down the end with his shield now. I'm gonna be using my Red Prophecy. It's a HPA Super Prophecy. I actually haven't done a build video on, on this yet. Uh, if you're interested, uh, leave a comment below and I'll uh, see if I can schedule one. Uh, so I've dialed up the pressure to 100 PSI. So this is firing at about 350 to 400 FPS. So it's gonna give that shield a really good workout. Um, I've got 100 darts, I'm just gonna peel them off as fast as I can. Are you ready, darts? So that was 100 darts at 350 to 400 psi, and uh, I think the shield held pretty well. There you have it, that's Bodyguard in action. I hope you've enjoyed this, and don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. End the video!